I've been a dedicated PC Windows guy for most of my computer days. Been using Adobe Premiere to process predominantly my drone videos. And it's been an adjustment. A few weeks ago, I picked up a Mac Studio M1, and it is just amazing. It is so fast. I mean, I can scrub through the video, you know, when I'm processing, and it's just, you're whistling right along. The uh, advantage to it was, hey, besides the speed, if I go to the Mac system and, and can learn like DaVinci Resolve, which is a free software, I can get rid of that damned subscription to Adobe Premiere, which is $22.77 a month with tax. Well, what is that, $300 a year? It doesn't take very long to think, hey, maybe this is a no-brainer. You can see the lens flare we pick up because we're looking directly into the lens. Look at the sun flare. Look at the star pattern. Take a look at the jet stream mixed with it. Okay, this is in 2 or 3x. I don't know which on the digital zoom. Yeah, it's not perfect, but hey, it's quite satisfactory for what I was, you know, trying to accomplish. I was testing. I was just seeing what we could do and what we could get away with. You can see the color down there in the trees. It's, you know, a lot of evergreens, but uh, leaf bearing or trees are just starting to come alive. Next couple weeks could be perfect if this windstorm we had today doesn't take them all out. So, I jumped in and I've done it. Two weeks I've been immersed in trying to learn Adobe Premiere. I've got some of the basics down. I've got a long ways to go, trust me. I took the drone up uh, Cooper Spur up above Hood River a couple of days ago before the rains hit. Threw the drone up in the air a few times and just shot some video and I determined that I would shoot only a D-log so that I was forced to process it and see what I could pull out of it. So everything you see here is processed in DaVinci Resolve, the free version. A lot of it I've speeded up 150-200% uh, just so I didn't bore you too much. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.